and welcome to Paddle Smash Academy. And we are All Things Paddle. Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode on location from Paddle Smash Academy. We're here in beautiful San Francisco, more exactly at Embarcadero Plaza, in this beautiful, beautiful club called Park Paddle. Please, let me introduce you to the owners, Jessica, Neil, and Katie. Uh, how you guys doing? Good? Hello. <laughs> so Hi Jessica, guys. tell us, uh, you guys are the, the, the brains behind this project. Uh, tell us how the whole thing started. Uh, first of all, I guess introduce us who you are, what you guys been doing before Paddle, and, and all that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Jessica, we are the three co-founders, Neil and Katie as well. Um, and our backgrounds, we've got varied backgrounds, but mostly in tech in San Francisco. Um, but we found this sport traveling in Europe last summer. Specifically, we were in Lisbon, I think, riding bikes in Lisbon. Um, I was learning how to play tennis at the time and failing pretty badly, um, <laughs> really hard. Um, this I was able to pick up a lot easier. Um, Katie and I played rugby together in college, um, so we weren't necessarily paddle sports people before that, um, but now we're hooked. Yeah, anything to add, you guys? Neil, well, tell, tell us <laughs> how the the park paddle thing started here. So you came back from playing paddle in, yeah, in yeah, Europe? Yeah, so we came back uh, after last summer, after seeing it first in Portugal, then again by, in hap by happenstance in Rome, and then we saw it again in Spain, and we decided to actually spend a week in Madrid to learn for a week. We learned in Spanish. Uh, Katie and I's <laughs> Spanish is not uh, the best, but it's actually honestly pretty easy to learn an, a sport or a dance in a foreign language because it's all just moving your body and you just can demonstrate it rather than having to learn the words. Um, but I think from that moment on, we were hooked. We tried to see if there were any clubs in the US. We noticed that there was a number in Miami um, and there was a couple in New York and maybe in Texas, but nothing in the Bay Area. And we felt that the San Francisco Bay Area was primed to really take this, this sport and make it their own. And because of a couple of things, um, there is a huge appetite for uh, socially athletic activities, right? Um, people love to just go out to the beach or go to the park and play spike ball or volleyball or tennis or soccer. Um, just like that is that is kind of the way the social life works around here in the Bay Area. Um, also, a lot of expats here, a lot of people from Europe and Latin America. I think one of the things that we realized is that there's a couple of things that make San Francisco Bay Area really primed to take this sport and make it their own. The first and foremost is just how socially athletic people are. Um, when somebody people want to hang out, they'll go to the park and they'll grab a beer or a White Claw and play spike ball or volleyball or they'll hit, hit some, some balls around and play some tennis or pickleball. Um, and then the second thing is that this city is just full of international people, expats from all over the world, especially Europe, especially Latin America. And it's just kind of a perfect confluence of really good weather, uh, people who are excited to play and people who know about the sport already. So Katie, tell us how did you were in this historic place, ferry, you know, a ferry station right behind us. Embarcadero Plaza, unbelievable. How did you end up in this place? I mean, it's just the prime location in San Francisco. We looked everywhere in the, <laughs> in the Bay Area. Um, we did. We we really wanted to find a place in San Francisco proper as kind of our first location. Um, we explored tons of different options. As I'm sure many know, there's not a lot of real estate in the city, um, and so we kind of took different avenues. Um, one of them was trying to find a public space. So got in touch with San Francisco Rec and Park, who were wonderful to work with, um, had some great ideas for us. Um, a couple different spots around the city. And I think this was one of the first places they mentioned. We were like, okay, we don't know um, how, you know, we didn't, we didn't really know how it would work, how, how it, we could, you know, set up here. Um, but then it kind of the name kind of kept coming up as like an as a great option um kind of in the heart of the city as you can see right next to the ferry building views of the bay bridge um tons of business around this area um and so we were like okay let's give it a shot um and it was it was a tough build as you can see the plaza well maybe you can't see but i'll let you know that the plaza is not very not even flat. it's not flat <laughs> Um, so we did a lot to um, kind of engineer a platform that could hold these courts and make sure that they were level. Um, 
and it was worth it was worth it because it's beautiful. It's beautiful now. Good. Yeah. So now we're fully operational. We're open to the public. Uh, let me know. So if I'm here in San Francisco, how can I come and play here? I mean, what a, you know, should I do it online? There's a platform for it and all that. Um, so you can go to our website, uh, parkpaddle.com, um, and there's a book book now button that you can click. Um, you can also go just straight to book.parkpaddle.com. Um, we also have an app that's called Park Paddle um, in the App Store or Google Play Store. Um, you can download and book directly through the app as well. So, so uh, Jessica, let me know. I know you were in a public place. Um, is um, are we doing any community hours for the members or people that they want to come in and try the sport? Yeah, um, uh, that was actually really important to us. There's a lot of people here in the city who know the sport already and love it, but a thousand times more who've never heard of it, who've never seen it before. Um, and so we're offering free hours Monday through Thursday, 2 to 4 p.m. Um, you can book on the app um, 24 hours in advance, and we'll give you a racket, we'll give you some balls, and if we're around to play with you, we will. Good. Um, yeah. Um, we, one of the things we love about this sport is that every time somebody gets on the court for the first time, just how quickly they fall in love with it. Um, so it's it was an easy decision for us to offer free hours because we know people will get hooked and we like love that way to introduce people to the sport. Uh, I wish more clubs will do that. I mean, having these, these free hours uh, to come and try the sport, I think it, it's crucial for, for the success of the sport overall, especially in this country. I think I, lo I love that idea. Absolutely, yeah. You reduce some of the friction from there. You get somebody on the court because it can be a little intimidating. Yeah. Yeah, like I was learning tennis in my 30s. I was, it was intimidating and I was bad. Um, you can come <laughs> learn this sport and be good pretty quickly. So, Neil, tell us a little bit about the programming, what you guys offer here and, and things like that. Yeah, so our slate of programming includes clinics with our wonderful coach Aitana, um, beginners, intermediate, and advanced, uh, all levels. And we also offer something we call open play, where let's say you want to play with people that are your level, but it's have, you're having a hard time wrangling three other people to play with you. You can kind of show up. We have two hour blocks that we'll have in the evening where we'll have on our two courts, eight to 16 players. So you can rotate in, maybe you'll find a friend that you can play with in the future, but we just wanna create a low stress way for you to play and have a good time uh, in the evenings. We also offer uh, private lessons, um, again with Aitana, and we will have um, events and tournaments on the weekend sometimes as well um, at different levels. And that'll be kind of, we'll, we'll have a, we'll throw an event, we'll, we'll turn it into a party and just come spectate and watch and have a good time or, or participate. So best way for me if I want to book a lesson, how can I do it? The best way to book a lesson is to book on our Park Paddle app. Um, we also have a thriving WhatsApp community right now. Uh, oh, pe good. People right. of all levels are kind of, we've already got a lot of chatter in there for people trying to find other games for people to play in, in the mornings or evenings at their level. Um, how can I get into that community of WhatsApp group? I mean, I, I go. Yeah, so if you go to our website, there's a little header at the top that says join the WhatsApp community. You can join from there. Um, what's really important to us is like, this is such a social sport and it is important, especially in the early days of this market to foster community and be there to make sure that we're, we can create matches that we know people will have a good time. It's not fun when you're playing somebody who's much better than you or you're playing somebody who is not as good as you. So we will actively be involved in fostering that community um, so that the first time you play is a good experience. So you want to keep coming back for more. Great. Uh, Katie, let me know how um, uh, the levels and all that, how's that work? I mean, I don't know anybody. So you guys set up the levels or how, how's that work? Yeah, so actually right now we are offering um, something called Verify Your Level. Um, it's a 30 minute slot. Um, we're offering that from 10 to 12, um, Monday, through Friday, Monday through Friday. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we'll have our coach here. She'll hit the ball around with you and she um, will kind of help rank you um, and decide what your level is. And then what you do is you post that level in the app, in your, in your profile in the app. Um, she will verify it and then you're able to join matches of that level or just understand what clinics you need to sign up for. Perfect. And how much is it? Free. What? <laughs> Free! <laughs> <laughs> only in America, only in San Francisco. You, you can come here and play paddle for free. They will tell you exactly what level you are. I, lo exactly. I love that. Yeah. So let's talk about, uh, I'm sure not everything is free, right? So the community hours free, check your level is free. So how much are the, are the booking hours, the lessons and all that? 
Yeah, so um, to book for a non-member, it's $40 per person per hour. Um, if you want to buy a membership, it's uh, discounted to $28 per person per hour. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Jessica. With, along with other perks. Okay, so <laughs> let's, let's um, uh, Katie says something very important about membership. So, let's talk, so you, I, for me to play here, can, do I have to be a member or I can be bold? How does that work? You don't have to be a member, but there's a lot of really great perks to being so. Okay. Um, especially since we've got two courts, they fill up really quickly. But if you are a member, you can pick up to two weeks in advance. Um, if you're a non-member, just seven days in advance. Um, but you also get a discounted rate, so you'll pay $20, $28 per hour um, versus $40. Um, you also get 15% off merchandise, uh, which we sell quite a bit of it. Lots of rackets, <laughs> balls, um, really great sweatshirts, lots of good battle swag. Yeah, and you also get three guest passes. So you get to come and bring friends and get them to be as excited about Paddle as you are. And the most important thing, how much is the membership? How much is the membership? The <laughs> membership is $100 a month with a $100 initiation fee. That's it? That's what it is. My God, I, I, it's incredible. I love it. <laughs> it's only 100 bucks a month for to become a member and play Unlimited? Um, uh, yes, yeah, exactly, Good. exactly. Beautiful. Yeah, um, we wanted it to be something that people could join in um, and have a really great time. That's beautiful. Yeah. And I'm sure you guys are avid players and all that. Um, and uh, you guys get to play a lot, right? Um, we do now. See, that was the thing. People were asking us, they're like, oh, are you like really excellent at this sport? I'm like, not yet. There's no courts to play in in San Francisco. Um, but Julian, have, have I gotten any better? It, she got so much better. It's incredible how well it's a before and after. Now she's a real paddle player. The way she moves, she, it's, it's like uh, Cena, ballerina dancing uh wow. the way she moves it's just incredible oh my goodness yes <laughs> very very good so um guys let me ask one thing so i arrived to san francisco i'm here for a few days i don't have i don't have my racket i don't have anything can i come here do you guys provide rackets how does that work Absolutely. Yeah, you can rent rackets here. We've got a bunch of different demos for you to try out depending on your skill level. So you can try out a few of them if you'd like. We also sell balls. Um, uh, so yeah, you can just kind of show up, hopefully bring some good shoes um, good. that you can train in. Um, but yeah, sh show up and come play. Fantastic. I mean, I, I, lo I love it. Love it. Please, if you're ever here in Barcado Plaza in San Francisco, you got to come, come and check this court. So you prefer to play right or left when you play in paddle? Left. Left. Right. <laughs> She's always against the gray. <laughs> Good. Uh, what is your favorite club? The My own club, Park Paddle. <laughs> Park Paddle. Park Paddle at the Market Air Plaza. Uh, let me think. Okay, Park Paddle. <laughs> that was a tough one. <laughs> what is your best shot? What is my best shot? Volley? Yeah, yeah I got a good volley, yeah. yeah. Uh, I got a pretty good slice, like a backhand slice. Good. I don't know if it's my best shot, but I love hitting it back against the wall and over the net. Oh, the back wall. I like that. Good. good. So what is your favorite racket, the racket that you love to play with? My favorite racket, I like my Slazenger racket, the Challenger. Yeah, I think good. it's great. Yeah, I think um, it's got a nice weight for, for me. And also have very small hands for, I don't know. <laughs> so I need something a little bit lighter. <laughs> How about you, Neil? Uh, I've been recently playing with the Babalat Air Verturo. Verturo. Uh, it is looks kind of like a bumblebee. I like the shape and I get a good, good amount of power on it. I definitely need to try more rackets, but um, the one I'm using right now is the Dunlop Galactica Pro. Beautiful. Yeah. Now that we're talking about rackets, uh, tell us the brands of rackets that you guys have demos here and, and for sale. Yeah, so we have Dunlop, uh, Babalot, Slasinger, um, and then Wilson. Um, and then we also have some Hero Star demos um, that you can try out. Um, and Adidas. Good. Yeah. I mean, pretty much all the, all the great paddle rockets. Yeah. I love it. Oh. Good, Hi. good, good. <laughs> Excellent. So uh, final question on uh, what are your goals for 2024? Well... We have an exciting um, new location coming. Really? Yes. Um, we have a huge warehouse in South San Francisco that will fit six indoor courts. Wow. Um, along with, um, you know, luxury bathrooms and a workspace and a cool lounge space and just more room for spectating as well. So um, we'll hopefully ho hold some exciting tournaments there. 
Um, and we're excited to get that off the ground, hopefully um, launching in spring or summer of next year. So, Neil, I know you are the mastermind behind the construction and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit, when do we are we thinking in opening that club? What yeah, is the, the so timeline? the timeline for the indoor club is we're working with the city right now to get the permits and the plans accepted. We've already submitted them to the city. Once that is complete, then the construction begins um, and the construction is slated to take about four months. And so we're giving ourselves a little bit of buffer room, but we're hoping to open by spring or summer of next year. That would be excellent. And yeah. that's sort of six indoor courts. Six indoor courts, 30 foot ceilings, just like a big, beautiful warehouse, um, a lounge space, it's nice bathrooms, just like the full expression of the Park Paddle brand. We're very excited to get that off the ground. Let's go Park Paddle San Francisco. Yeah. Yay. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you're in San Francisco, come and stop by and, and play some paddle. We'll have everything here ready for you guys to have a great time here in the, in the middle of Embarcadero Plaza. Thank you. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And remember, it's free 99. It doesn't cost you anything to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in to Paddle Smash Academy. We hope you'll find our videos informative, helpful in improving your game and learning all things paddle. So until next time, keep improving your game. And remember, learn, play, and share.